I'm Rob Matheson in Doha. The top stories in Al Jazeera. Former U.S. President Donald Trump's been charged in connection with the mishandling of classified documents. Posting on his social media platform, Truth Social, Trump said he must appear at a Miami court on Tuesday. U.S. media are saying the charges include espionage, obstruction of justice and conspiracy. Shihab Rutansi has got more from Washington, D.C. The Department of Justice hasn't unsealed in the indictment or released the charges against Donald Trump. In fact, one of Donald Trump's lawyers told American media that they didn't have the charges either. What they did receive was a summons to appear in a court in Miami next Tuesday. And from the documentation associated with that summons, they gleaned an idea of what those charges may be, making false statements, conspiracy to obstruct and willfully mishandling documents. France, Portugal and Spain are the latest countries to send emergency crews to help battle historic wildfires in Canada. Hundreds are burning across the country. Smoke alerts remain in place for millions of North Americans. There are reports of continued shelling in southern Ukraine as emergency crews try to reach people stranded by flooding. Ukraine and Russia accused each other of hampering evacuation efforts after the destruction of the Novokakova Dam. The Sudanese foreign ministry says the United Nations envoy is not welcome in the country. The ministry issued a statement early on Friday declaring Volker Perthes persona non grata. General Abdel Fattah al-Bohan has accused the envoy of causing division among the rival forces. Four children have been injured in a knife attack in France. It happened in the town of Annecy, near the border with Switzerland. Two adults were also injured and the youngest victim is just 22 months old. The attacker is a Syrian refugee. He wasn't known to authorities and there's no evidence of a terrorist motive. EU member states have reached a tentative deal to share responsibility for asylum seekers and migrants more evenly. It follows a day of negotiations between interior ministers in Luxembourg. The agreement aims to ease pressure on Italy and Greece, where many migrants and refugees arrive after crossing the Mediterranean. Poland and Hungary voted against the proposals.